Joined by the lieutenant governor of this fine state, Rebecca Clayfish. She uh, serves under one Scott Walker. Scott Walker stepped out of the presidential race and his support is considered crucial. Jeb Bush was hanging around with him in this fine state. And I'm wondering, lieutenant governor, uh, where you think the governor's heart lies as he, he dropped out of the race after great momentum. Uh, and he did. He, he was seen around with 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 Jeb Bush. Where, where, where do you think it's going? He was seen around with Marco Rubio, too. Yeah. And I think, you know, just between you and me, I mean, all of us, um, he's going to go with the Republican nominee here. <laughs> so he's not going to keep us guessing like the Koch brothers for the time. Being. I think because you find that significant that Charles Koch is saying. You know, right now, I'm not committing monies to anyone, at least early in this primary season. I think it is still early. We're still a year away, don't forget. We had eight candidates on that stage. And solid work, by the way. Welcome back to Thank Milwaukee. Very, Welcome very back much. to Wisconsin. Do you support anyone, or do you have to work in concert with the governor? I mean, you're a very popular figure in this state. Bless your heart. You and my mom think so. <laughs> so uh, the governor and I just kind of do work in concert. And you know, part of the job of being a lieutenant is to indeed be a good lieutenant. And we pretty much or work. Or a future in, governor. We pretty much work in lockstep when it comes right. both to the official side and also the campaign side. Politically, I think that there are some people that we identify with perhaps more than others. But you're more established, guys. I think when the governor stepped out, lieutenant governor, one of the things he had said is maybe we can all rally around. Um, and establishing it to counter, I think he was talking about Donald Trump at the time. By extension, it might be Ben Carson for all I know. Is that important to you, as someone who's politically shrewd herself, that, that maybe the party needs to rally around someone who, who has that sort of consensus establishment experience? Because there are many on the other side of the party saying, no, we don't. Oh, I think it's kind of weird to say consensus establishment because. Well, would you our back party... a Donald Trump? Could you ever see yourself back in a Donald Trump? Golly, it would be hard. And here's why. Um, just yesterday, I reheard some comments made by Donald Trump that were completely untrue about our state and about the governor's leadership here. We need people. Even now, when now, because these Scott Walker's out of the race. No, these were replayed from oh, okay. some time ago. But those are things that weren't true. And you need a candidate who is going to stand for truth. And you also need a candidate, and I'm not saying about Donald Trump specifically, but you need a candidate who can swim in the deep end every single time and is okay being tossed in. But you would support a Donald Trump or Ben Carson over Hillary Clinton? Absolutely. Okay. There's no um, question. If you don't mind, I'm going to say, and I asked this of, of, of Mika Mosbacher, right? so as a woman, I want to talk to you on this level, and it might sound sexist, but I'm curious what your reaction would be. Donald Trump got a lot of criticism for, for going and attacking Carly Fiorina for interrupting the other candidates. Well, you and, noticed that too. Okay, see, so I'm a Renaissance man. Were you <laughs> annoyed by that? Absolutely. He, he didn't seem so bothered when John Kasich did it constantly. And so I did, I bristled a little bit when he was irritated specifically by Carly Fiorina. And you know, I, I went home last night and the kids were still up. And I have two little girls I'm raising here in the Midwest. And they watch me go off to work every day. And they're to the point, and schools, right, are to the point where they encourage children to explore within right, boundaries right. the internet. So what's the first thing you're kids are going to Google their parents. Well, a lot of the things that you read on the internet, shocking, are not true. And those are the things my kids see. And when my kids also watch a debate and they see Carly Fiorina shut down, but they watch the other guys interrupt nonstop and they go unchecked, they notice that. And as I are went they home girls, last boys? night, I'm sorry. I have two little girls. Okay. And as I go home last night, uh, I, I have two little lobbyists. You know, it's the preteen vote, <laughs> so it's, it's not like we're, we're talking about a, a big right. lobby group here. But you know, I have one little one who loves babies, and so she was a Carson fan to begin with. She's okay. going to be a Carson fan to the end because he spoke at our Wisconsin. So none of this Center. stuff. It, it, it's the noise on him, and whether you embellish or anything, none of that's registered. Well, she's nine. Um, and right. then, and then my other little girl, my twelve-year-old said, Mom, I'm for Carly. What can really? I do to get you to vote for Carly? Okay. Okay. And so it's, it's resonating with little girls, these women interesting. That's very interesting. standing on the debate stage among all of the men. All right. Now, I don't think that that is one of those qualifiers. And, no, but I hear you know, what you're I, saying. You're not the only one who said it. So I didn't, I didn't necessarily have to stand in line or fill a slot for my okay. job. And so I think it's very important that we message the little girls and the young women and the, all the mothers, daughters, sisters, wives of America that they belong on that stage. They belong in public policy and in the forum.
Yeah, well, it hit a nerve, obviously. Rebecca Clavis, thank you, the lieutenant governor of the fine state of Wisconsin. She has been very, very uh, kind as a host, hostess. I don't even know. Just fine. All right. I think you should stay. I, I would love to stay. I mean, no better place for cheese, I'm telling you. Well, it's not just cheese. I understand Jobs, that. no unfunded okay. no, pension I just think edible, edible things. That's Wages it. are up 4.5%. Food, let's stick to food. Okay, Governor. All right, thank you very, very much. We have a lot more coming up.